Yeah. When you fought Jermaine Taylor, that was 160, right? Yes. Yeah, dude. That was one fight where I remember getting angry at Larry Merchant. Was Larry Merchant is calling the fight. I'm like, he's not. Uh, he wasn't recognizing that you were tuning him up mm -hmm. and you were hurting him. And you, it got he, like he was he was commenting on a almost like it was a trend that he expected to see rather than what was actually happening. Yeah. There was a lot of things about that fight. I love them guys because believe it or not. In my opinion, that was a great fight, and I seen that they had that fight in a top ten middleweight, uh, one of the top ten middleweight fights of all time, and that's kind of a cool thing. But also, you know, some of that commentating though really made that fight, especially at the end. In my opinion, made that fight kind of what it was. Also, you know, besides the fact of me getting dropped and everything, but um, you know, I didn't agree with the judging of it. You know, because I still mm -hmm. had me ahead. I went back and watched it. I'm not one of those egotistical people either. Like I like to really break down what happened in that fight, and I. And if I lost a round, I would say I lost a round. You mm -hmm. know, I was hard on myself with that. I watched that fight now probably 10 times, and I don't see where they had Jermaine winning, you know? Yeah. I gave him one round and plus a 10-8, so that's a total of three rounds. And uh, I don't see how that happened. Well, you know, I mean, we, we've had this conversation a hundred times in this podcast, but judging in boxing and judging in MMA, judging is just terrible. Yeah. It's just terrible. It's, it's sad. It doesn't make any sense. There's so many experts out there. There's so many really reliable people that you can call on that would do a great job of, of, of figuring out what's going on in a fight. And for whatever reason, they don't get those jobs. I think they got to start doing something soon in boxing with that. Yeah, they have to figure something out with the judging. Um, you see the Charlo fight? Yes. Yeah, and I, there's a handful of people I had the argument with that actually thought Charlo lost. Um, I didn't think that he looked as good as he could have in that fight. Yeah, but I thought he won the fight. You know, um, 116, 112. Uh, but I don't know what system they could try to break down for that and, or try to get to actually start making some of them fights fair. But boxing is doing fantastic the past two years. I mean, the numbers are crazy. You've seen what the zone um, did with Canelo. And yeah. So it's, it's there. The, the attention's at the sport and the popularity of it's coming back. But what could eventually hurt it again is things like the, the judging of the fights yeah. and the outcomes. Well, there's certain ones where you th you want to like you want a criminal investigation, mm -hmm. like uh, Tim Bradley Manny Pacquiao. That was one where after that was up, I, I was like, I was looking at the TV, I was looking to the side, yeah. I was looking away. I was like, what the fuck did I just see? What just happened here? That fight right there, I actually had to walk away with my head down. I, that that was probably one of the worst robberies that I've ever seen in boxing. It was boxing. a horrible robbery. I searched to give Tim Bradley two rounds. I gave him one. I, I was trying to give him rounds to kind of like say, how, how where did you get this at, yeah. in other words? And I couldn't do it. Yeah, I love Tim Bradley too, by the way. Awesome guy. Awesome awesome fighter too. I mean, he's just all heart. I mean, that guy's he's amazing. But that just was a bad decision. And. You know, I think there was a there was a lady that was responsible for two really bad decisions. It Bird, was, yeah, Adelaide Bird. Was it her? Or was it was, there was another one too? There was an <laughs> Adelaide Bird. She does MMA too. I want to say, uh, <laughs> yeah, Ladder, Letterman's daughter, maybe. Well, there was no. There was another lady who uh, retired from doing it after that decision. It was like a big controversy. People were no, they, her her score was so off. People were thinking she got paid off. There's so many anymore, though. It's hard to keep up with it. Yeah. Well, the thing is. And, and people that are cynical or skeptical, do you know how much money is being bet on fights, especially a Manny Pacquiao fight? There's so much money. Yeah. And if someone like Pacquiao is a prohibitive favorite heading into a Tim Bradley fight, I mean, who knows? It could be four to one, five to one, six mm -hmm. to one. Somebody rolls up with a nice brown baggie filled with hundreds. <laughs> hey, look who we got in here. It's thirty thousand dollars. You I never have to report. I think there's yeah, there, there's more behind why that happens too. You know Has what I to mean? be. That's always been a, the idea that there's no bribery going on anymore yeah. is crazy. I don't want to say it, but I'm I think I have. Yeah, I think I have an idea. You know, I think it comes down to who's putting the show on mm -hmm. and who's who's in the pocket. Well, Teddy of. Atlas was explaining it too when he was on the podcast. One of the things that he was saying was that they take these people out to dinner, like the, like they're all in cahoots and friendly with each other. And if there's a certain result that the promoter would like to see. Mm -hmm. These judges will lean towards that if they have a good relationship with that promoter. You said it for me. Yeah, that's what it yeah, is. That, yeah. Look, Teddy laid it out. And um, 
I don't know. Yeah, it's it's bad because again, boxing is really coming back. It is, and the fights you got three or four weight classes right now. That's so interesting. But the bad part about it is you don't get interested in it or you don't get as excited anymore because you're afraid of the outcome of the fight. Yeah, you know. 